Welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time if you're new here. My name is Cindy and I have recently realized that I am a starving artist. Uh, I, I really am. You know, I, I put most of my money toward creating and not towards things that I probably should put my money towards. Like for example, um, right now I'm working on getting my passport and putting a trip together instead of buying like some furniture for my apartment that I probably really should get. I mean, at least I finally have a bed, you know, so I'm not sleeping on an air mattress on the floor anymore. So that's, that's actually really, really nice. Um, so I thought it would be fun to do just like a week in the life of, um, and so we'll start with today. So today is Monday and the only reason why I am not at work today is actually because I am on vacation because my dog and my cat arrived yesterday or the day, the day before yesterday. So a couple days ago uh, my boyfriend came into town to bring our dog and cat here um, and he did have to fly back to Indiana to tie up some loose ends and just take care of a few more things before he can move down here with me but so I'm on vacation today so so far today um, all I've really done I really wanted to just relax today I always go out and do like a hike and things like that for my YouTube channel um, and just to explore the island so I really just wanted to chill today, you know, give them some time to adjust, give him some time to relax after his flight and everything, not start, not immediately take him out. Um, so I've just been chilling in the house. Um, I did leave once to do my laundry. I do my laundry at a laundromat. I do that once a week of it today because I had extra stuff. And uh, I gave him a bath. He needed one bad, and he is very nice and fresh, and he smells very good now. And I have spent the rest of the day so far just chillaxing, you know, working on my blog that I'm putting together. I've been writing all day. It's been, it's been a pretty sweet Monday. Please stop. It's been a pretty sweet Monday. Decided to come catch the sunset since I wasn't at work or anything. So beautiful. Look at how nice the buildings are. It's like my favorite time of day. I like just sitting and watching it and just reflecting and getting some more ideas from my writing. <laughs> So I am on my way home from work now and I'm really proud of myself because I worked my whole shift and like the whole time I kept telling myself that like I'm just gonna go home early I'm just you know I don't want to deal with today but I got through the whole day I almost called in this morning um, but then I didn't but honestly it would have been the perfect day to just call in and stay home all day and just write and watch TV and watch movies and stuff because it's so gloomy and rainy out um, it would have been perfect but oh well it was the only day that I had to work at this job this week um, since I had my vacation time and everything um, for Adam and the animals coming um, so it went by pretty fast, you know, whatever, but now I'm super excited to get home and jump right back into my blog and get going on that and everything and, uh, oh, I just realized I need to cook tonight. Dang it. I need to cook. I mean, I could just get pizza. No, I need to cook. I need to cook so I have dinner and so I have lunch for work for my other job tomorrow. Um... So, I guess I'm just gonna do that. I really didn't feel like it tonight, but you gotta keep up your good habits, you know? So I do have my veggies going. I've got my pasta water boiling. I'm just gonna make my own sauce. And then I've got my 
potatoes that I'm getting ready to pop in the oven. It's gonna be so delicious. So this is gonna be my dinner and then it's gonna be my lunch for work tomorrow. And I, I have coffee in the fridge and I really, really just want a cup of coffee right now, but it's it's not time for coffee it's like six something in the evening so i don't need to be drinking coffee right now and i've made it a rule for myself that when i have coffee in the morning that's my coffee for the day that's my caffeine for the day no caffeine past 11 a.m um so i really want to keep up with that but i really want a cup of coffee because you know my other job tomorrow i i love this job you know and it's it's easy it's not like labor intensive so you know, it's even if I go to sleep late tonight, plus I only have it tomorrow because I'm actually off on Thursday again um, because I'm gonna go do my passport stuff. So I don't know, stay tuned. Am I gonna drink a cup of coffee or not? Okay, I decided against a cup of coffee because I wanna keep up with this, you know, habit and everything, but I forgot that I have sparkling cider. So I'm gonna drink that instead. And now I'm like, mm, do I wanna clean out the guacamole in the bowl in the fridge so I can get my dough rising so I can pop it in the oven in the morning and have some fresh baked bread tomorrow. Cause I bake my own bread most of the time just because it's so expensive here in Hawaii. But now I'm like, mm, I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. And now I'm, now I'm thinking that I want the coffee again. Oh my God, I have to use this cup that I got from a bar and grill um, type of place because I swear Adam threw my cup away. Like the only cup that I own, I handed it to him when he was here and then I never saw it again. And we can't figure out what he did with it. So we're, I mean, I'm pretty sure he threw it away, but the whole freaking bottle fit in here literally saved two sips. <laughs> Look at that face. Look at that face. Look at that face. Look at that little side eye. Help me remember I gotta brush your teeth. I gotta brush your teeth before we go to bed. Look at that face. Oh my god, you're so cute. I wish I would have just stayed home and played with you today instead of going to work. Came out pretty bomb. morning snuggles <laughs> oh my sweet baby good morning anyways so i got my coffee mm. i need to reheat it i'm always sticking this thing back in the microwave but i woke up at 5 30 which is actually like about an hour um later than i usually like to wake up um but I think that's why like it made me like really groggy whenever I woke up. I don't know why I slept in, but that's I mean that's okay. It's still you know really early. Um, but I took care of them, got my coffee, and so now I'm actually about to do my gratitude journal that I do every morning. Um, so it's just I get these from like the dollar store. So I just write down three things that I'm grateful for that day. It's always three different things. And then I write down what I look forward to um, at the end of the day. What's Zed getting into? She jumped up into the spice cabinet. But anyway, um, then I take my journal at the end of the night and I just write down um, just like a journal entry of like how my day went. I try to focus on the positive stuff, you know, it's it's really changed my life since I've started doing this. So I really try to be, make sure that I'm consistent and I do it every single day. Um, I also like notice like I changed my shirts a lot, like a lot. I think I changed my shirt like three times yesterday. I came home, I took off my work shirt and I changed into a comfy, just like around the house shirt. Spilled something on that, so I changed into my oversized long sleeve shirt. But then when I took him out this morning, it rained on me. So my shirt was all wet when I came back inside, so I changed into another one. So that's going to happen a lot. And 
then I'm um, now I'm at the drive-thru getting some Taco Bell because I forgot to grab the lunch that I prepped for myself last night for today oh my god I literally just like rode my car up like against the little curb that sits there beneath the window so now I can never show my face at this Taco Bell ever again so I wanted to rush straight home after work to get to Helios and get him out and everything, but it's been raining on and off all day and something about gloomy weather just makes me want to thrift really bad. And so I, I have this image in my mind for like a self-portrait photo that I would like to take of myself and I need a certain shirt for it and it's just my way of like kind of practicing um for when I get a really nice camera which I'm actually saving up for right now so I'm so excited that's actually part of the starving artist thing I'm I'm saving up for a really nice camera instead of buying a couch um and um a couple other things like to get my back patio together that's that's what I really need to do next is work on that um but I'm just I'm really inspired right now and and the beautiful thing about Hawaii is even the gloomiest weather just isn't very gloomy you know you, you get a rainbow at the end you still have the sunshine you still have the beautiful ocean and yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can find this shirt and maybe I'll use that picture for the thumbnail of this video. I found the shirt. Found an unwanted guest. Had to run to Walmart because I forgot that I have to have a money order for my appointment tomorrow morning. I scored a clearance dish rack and it actually comes with some bowls and cups that I can use and I got some more art supplies and a couple things for the house too which obviously isn't what I went there for but I, I, I'm not gonna leave Walmart with only what I went there for. slept less than three hours because I definitely stayed up until 2.30 in the morning just writing and working on my blog. It's almost done though. I think I'm gonna have it done today. I'm so freaking excited. I had fallen head first into love with another complete stranger. to the 
sunrise. Morning beach jock. So I got my passport um, application all done and through. They said it's going to take like seven to ten weeks. So I'm really excited about that. Now I'm in Daiso. Just finding some like cheap like gardening supplies before I go to the actual um, gardening shop that I'm going to check out. Um, I really just want to get going on my back patio. It's making me sad. <laughs> um, so I'm just picking up a few things for that. And then I'm also going to grab a couple things for my friend Chelsea um, for Christmas because she loves the Japanese and the Korean culture um, types of things. And this is a Japanese dollar store and there's a lot of really cool stuff here. So I'm definitely going to send some stuff to her. Oh my god, I'm done. <laughs> I finished my travel blog. Well, finished. I mean, there's always going to be like a new submission that I put on it, but like my website's published and I shared it and I let people know and like I'm like shaking right now because I've never like let anyone really read my writing and like now like even the book that I've published it was done pseudonymously, you know, and so now I'm just like I'm shaking and I I feel like I'm about to shit my pants like this feels so unreal right now. I'm all dirty because I just dragged um, some dirt into my back patio. I went to that plant store and I got dirt and I got a few pots and I got some seeds and a few other things. So I'm actually going to get started on the garden um, here in a minute. But that that's going to be in a different video because I'm going to put together like a whole like before and after um, type of deal. So yeah, but I got Zed's cool freaking new backpack that I got for her so that she can come with us on certain like hikes and things. And so I thought a little unboxing might be a little fun. So I'm really excited about it. It's bright out here, but I'm back out in the garden. About to make some more progress out here. So I'm so excited. Right, I did a lot out there. It's just time to get out of these clothes and take a shower. I'm done for the day. I'm ready to just relax. I just got done having a little photo shoot with myself with the shirt that I got, that I thrifted, that I had this image in my head for like an advanced selfie, um, if you know who Sorella Moore is. Um, so I really, really like how it came out. Um, I, ha I got four favorites, I got four really good ones and I edited them and I love them. And I think I'm gonna post all four of them to my Instagram. So one of those is definitely gonna end up being the thumb for this video. Okay, I'm about to wash off my makeup, but like it's giving like Bella Thorne, like I kind of like it, like I kind of like it a lot. Like at first I wasn't feeling it at all and then I was like, wait, I'm throwing on rose sunglasses anyways for the picture so it doesn't even really matter, but now I'm just like kind of feeling it. Like is this a vibe? Good morning. Happy Aloha Friday. So I'm on my way home from work now and I don't know why I'm so tired. Like I fell asleep by 8.30 last night. I got my sleep, but I like halfway through my day, I just got so tired. I was like, I could literally fall asleep right now for the rest of the day, but I'm not gonna go home and go to sleep. I actually was able to borrow um, like a big rake and this like not shovel. I don't really know what it's called, but I think you can use it to like break up roots with and stuff. So I can go ahead and finish my garden bed today. 
um, and get some seeds planted and uh, yeah I'm, I'm like not looking forward to doing that but I am at the same time so back in my garden now <laughs> So I decided to go ahead and come to the laundromat just to get it done, get it over with. It was starting to fill up and I don't want to have to do it later on. And there's a bunch of hooligans just like sitting outside of the door, just like being super loud. They're moving now, but I swear like as soon as I started recording this, uh, one of them came up behind my car and I swear she just did like a roundhouse kick. <laughs> I'm like cracking up. I was like, what is going on back there? So I'm on my way back home now and that was quick and easy in and out in like a half hour because I finally got a clothesline that I hung up. So I'm excited to try it out and see how I like it. And uh, I truly, eventually I can go ahead and, you know, rip out my um, sink that I have out in my back patio because um, there was a washer hookup somehow. I don't know exactly how it works, but I know that I can take the sink out and put a washer there instead. And I have looked around for like used washers, um, but in all honesty, like, see, that's just another part of the starving artist thing. Like I totally can buy a used washer um, and put it in and make it easier for myself so I just don't have to leave the house, you know, just wash my clothes and hang dry them. But I would rather go on a new trip somewhere, you know? I would rather um, find a new story to tell. I'd rather buy art supplies and I'd rather buy a new camera set. And that's just kind of how I live now, you know? Um, I've been living so minimally just to put my money toward creating and it's just been so great and I absolutely love it. I love this style of living and I can't wait to, you know, do van life someday um, after we've had our time here in Hawaii and we're ready to go, you know, either back to the mainland or to Europe or something, you know, and uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to share that. I just wanted to share for all you tea drinkers out there and, and honey addicts um, if you're using like raw honey and stuff like that once you get to that point in the jar where like there's still honey in it but you've already like scooped it all out what I do is I just pour the water straight into the jar and just shake it around it gets all the honey off so it makes it a lot easier to clean when you keep the jar um, I mean, assuming that you keep the jar, I know I do. And then I just pour the water from the jar into my cup and add a little bit more water and put my tea bag in it. And you don't waste or lose any honey. My tea is the perfect temperature right now. Mm. I've been really into peppermint tea lately. It's just so good. But um, I was sitting here thinking about it, you know, um, today really wasn't very eventful. I mean, it was a good day, you know, I'm glad I got my laundry done. I'm glad I got my garden bed done. Um, but I mean, for the most part, at least, but, um, you know, it's just not been very eventful. And I realized that, you know, I'm sure probably some of you clicked on this video expecting to see like me going to the beach every day and, you know, hiking and things like that. And I do try to take a hike at least once a week, but it's really just dependent on, you know, work. You know, I work two jobs, so I'm really busy with that a lot of the time. But that's just not really like the reality of living in Hawaii. You know, you're not going swimming at the beach every day. That doesn't mean everybody. I'm, I'm sure there are some people here that do, like those that are retired and all. But I mean, 
it's just not it just wasn't really in my plans this week you know usually I do try to hit the beach as often as I can but lately you know it's the middle of November and I mean it's still perfect outside like 70s but I've been just getting kind of really chilly whenever I get out of the water um, but I mean, even just going to the beach and just laying in the sand under the sun is great. Um, but I mean, I, I did go to the beach a couple of times just to sit, um, you know, watch the sunset. I took Helios on a jog by it, but, uh, yeah, um, it's really chill right now. I'm really not doing anything right now. I was going to write a little bit, but I actually um, got some writing done at work today because I had my laptop with me in my downtime, and I got some work done on my first nonfiction novel that I'm working on, and I think that I'm actually going to have that one done before um, this other book that I'm working on that I'm not really going to talk about because I'm going to be publishing that under a pen name anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's been a really good day, you know, so... Even though it wasn't very eventful, um, it's been chill, you know. I've gotten a lot done this week so far, and I've also had a lot of downtime, and it's just been good. Also, you know, like, if you're familiar with my channel, then you're familiar with the type of content that I create, and that, you know, I really just try to be, like, as real as I can. Um, I just want to be really authentic in my creative work, you know, um, so I wasn't gonna make, like, a week in the life of vlog and, and not be realistic with it and just try to, you know, f fill it with aesthetics and, you know, like going to the beach every single day, acting like I don't have work and, you know, things like that, um, because that's just, that's not life, um, at least not for me. You know, um, I do work and I do have things that I have to get done and um, it's not very glamorous all the time, you know, but I mean, at the end of the day, I live in Hawaii. So even if I have, you know, errands to run and chores to do, I'm still having a great day. <laughs> Happy Saturday. It's a beautiful day to be alive. I got to get all my clothes down from the clothesline and... Uh, people some people are already starting to read my blog and I'm already getting some really positive feedback on it and it's just it's wild to me it's so crazy that I finally did it and I'm sharing my writing because you know obviously you don't write to make money or anything like that I mean it certainly would be really nice to be able to live off of my writing someday but just knowing that it's out there and people are reading it it's just like I don't know how to describe it right now, but I'm I'm going to I'm going to find the words and I'm going to describe it someday. So I just got home from work and I'm so glad I finally figured out how to get my Roku TV to stop going into the screensaver mode. So you just go into your network settings and you turn off the bandwidth saver um, and then it won't do that after just four hours. It'll stay on the whole time as long as the channel keeps playing. Um, so that's really cool. That helps a lot with the animals and everything. Um, I had a pretty good day at work. I actually, um, I had a lot of downtime and I got really, really far in my outline for the book that I'm working on right now. Um, so that's, that's super cool and I'm ready to jump right back in after I eat. Um, I thought about going to the beach, but it's, it's cloudy today and I, I just, I just don't feel like it. I want to stay home and write. Like, that's crazy. Um, but I just, like, I'm so into what I'm doing right now. I just want to sit at home and write. But also, came home and got my mail and, uh, saw my plates. It's time to renew them, which I knew was coming up. But I finally got the renewal notice. And 
it's so much more expensive than I thought it was going to be so I'm not getting a couch anytime soon which makes me sad because I wasn't even gonna get the couch for me I was actually literally just getting it so that Helios had another place to lay around on so that makes me a little sad but you know it's much more important to renew my plates than it is to buy a couch so yeah, but it's a really good day and I'm actually, I, I forgot that I signed up for this free like virtual Celtic mythology um, class like on the Fae and everything. So I'm really, really excited to do that in a little bit too. So yeah, that's, <laughs> that's my Saturday and I love it. <laughs> freaking exhausted and I decided to stop by the store to get milk and coffee because I freaking need coffee in the morning and obviously oat milk not regular milk I don't know why I felt the need to explain that but um of course it's freaking packed uh, packed uh, and I'm just like regretting this okay so I definitely spent way too long in the store and I also spent way too much money in the store because obviously I didn't just grab milk and coffee when I went in there but I actually did get cashew milk instead because they were out of oat milk so I'm actually excited because cashew milk is really good in coffee too. Um, and I got, I kind of overloaded on coffee and splurged but that's okay because now I have plenty for a while. Um, but I'm kind of mad because I, I spent so much time in there and now it's kind of late and I really wanted to, oh, I should have just kept going that way, but I really wanted to get home and, um, take Helios down to the beach. I was actually wondering if I wanted to go swimming today, but I, d I decided against it and now I'm just like, Oh, I wanted to go walk him down by the beach, but now it's late and there's just no freaking way that I am going to drive to the beach on a Sunday. There's just, no, no, it's not. It's not going to happen because it takes forever to find a parking spot and then it takes forever to get out when you want to leave and I'm just not about it today and I'm not feeling it. So I don't want to walk in the dark, but it's going to be dark by the time we're walking back. So that's kind of up in the air. But if I stay home, I, I finally got the gel pens that I've been wanting so I can start working on my dot journal because I finally got a dot journal and I'm going to put together my whole life plan. I'm going to organize it and it's going to be so cute and so fun to put together and I'm really, really excited about that. So I guess right now I'm just trying to decide if I want to go down to the beach or not for the rest of the evening. So I literally got myself all ready to go. I was getting ready to put his harness on him and hit the beach. And then I looked and I was like, oh my God, the sun sets in like 20 minutes. So by the time we get there, it's already gonna be dark. And then after sitting and chilling for a while, it's gonna be really dark by the time we walk back. And I'm just not about that. Like even with my dog, you know, like better safe than sorry. Like if we were driving, yeah, totally. But like I said, I'm not driving to the beach on Sunday, mm -mm, no. No, it's such a waste of time. Um, so I decided to chill and I'm picking out on some chocolate and I'm making some comfort food, which is literally just like this five ingredient like pasta. It's just like the small Ditalina pasta with um, chicken broth. I use vegetable broth because I don't eat meat, Parmesan, garlic, butter, and that's it. And it's so comforting. I found the, um, I found it on Pinterest. It's like five ingredient cozy parm soup or something like that. I'll put it in the bio if I can find it. Um, so 
yeah, but you know, I went to the store today, so I don't have to go tomorrow. So tomorrow, we'll go down to the beach and get some light exercise and some fresh air and some ocean time. I need some ocean time and just sitting by the waves, you know? put the camera down um, so that I could get a little bit of footage of me filling out my dot journal because I finally figured out how I'm gonna do it I'm just gonna do it all for 2024 so I was just gonna start doing the front cover for it all nice and organized and my tripod selfie stick broke like for real this off <sighs> like I don't I can't fix it either I mean in all honesty this is probably just a push for me to buy a better one anyway because this one was getting on my nerves and it was already kind of broken anyway but dang and just like that sunday night comes to a close so i've got my mood lighting i've got my candles lit i'm about to turn this lamp off um because as badly as i want to do some writing it's already after eight and i like to be asleep by nine o'clock at the latest um at least i try to so i think i'm just gonna pick up my kindle and i'm just gonna read and drink my tea until i fall asleep and get ready for another awesome week and you know if you did end up staying until the end thank you so much for watching you know um like I was saying before I know it's not glamorous and you know the idea of being a starving artist it, it's not glamorous it's not a glamorous type of way to live and you know obviously it doesn't mean that you're so poor that you're literally starving it just means that you know you live frugally and minimally and that way you can put a majority of your funds toward your craft like art supplies and camera equipment and travel and things like that and pretty much you know all the things that I've been spending my money on and you know making sure my animals are good obviously but uh yeah and I'm, I'm not gonna lie it's as unglamorous as it is this is my absolute favorite time period in my life and I'm here for it and I'm living it and I'm loving it and I cannot wait to see what next year brings if I just continue you know just doing what I'm doing um especially with my travel blog being uh published and and on the internet now I still can't believe it I'm I'm so proud of myself and I, I'm so ready to just add more and more to it and uh yeah, so, you know, if you're new here and you want to see more content like this, you know where the subscribe button is. But other than that, just remember it's a beautiful day to be alive and I hope you have an awesome week.